Hey, Staff Sergeant Nick Young from the New Jersey National Guard Public Affairs Office. Today we're here at the National Guard Militia Museum of New Jersey, and we're going to take a look at some awesome artworks that soldiers created while they were in the trenches of World War I. So come on inside. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm Joe Bilby, I'm assistant curator. Captain Thatcher, director of National Guard Militia Museum of New Jersey. Okay, so Private Little Hawk right here, he may have made this while he was in his two-week rotation. When you were in the trenches, you were, you were typically on duty for about two weeks, and then you would fall back to either a communications trench or one of the secondary trenches. Uh, likewise, uh, this shell right here, uh, this may have also have been created while in the front lines there. Mm -hmm. uh, and it says uh, Verdun, and that was one of the major battles of World War I. On a larger shell such as this, uh, this is uh, from a 75, uh, this was probably taken home and worked on later, because you can see this, this uh, metallurgical effect right here. Mm -hmm. uh, this would have been difficult to do uh, while deployed. Okay, this one is particularly ornate. Uh, you can see the lettering on the back here. The, it almost has like a, a regular font to it. Mm -hmm. and this is the New Jersey Shield right here. Um, the 78th Division uh, was activated in Newark, and uh, it now lives as a training division for Texas. Now, this, this right here is the image of a, a poppy. Um, now, the poppy came to be one of the main symbols of the conflict, and uh, to this day, uh, in Europe and uh, here in the United States, uh, red poppies are used as, as a symbol of of the conflict and uh, fields of poppies will be either planted, particularly at grave sites and at memorial sites, and it's, it's very visually striking. 